Hey everybody, thanks for coming back, thanks for watching again, thanks for tuning in. I got another Garfield for you today. It is Sunday, after all, and you know what happens on Sunday. Jim Davis drops a new, hot, long run Garfield. We're going to start it off pretty good today. It's a uh, definitely a social commentary one. And let me tell you what, Jim Davis is not pulling any punches with uh, with his opinions in this strip. Uh, let's get to it. Throwaway panel uh, actually has a, a tiny bit to do with the comic today, which is cool. Uh, and it's also set up, interestingly, because it's got panels within panels. Um, the first panel within the throwaway panel, uh, there's a little sign that says, Out to Lunch. And John and Odie are looking to their left. And in the last panel, uh, we got Garfield, and he is fucking mowing down on a big old pile of cat food. Probably tuna or something. I'm not sure. Looks good, though. Looks classic. Like classic Garfield. Anyways, onto the first, uh, first, uh, panel of this strip here. And, uh, Garfield walks in, and for some reason there's a fish in a bowl. Um... I don't know if it's established that they have a pet fish. I don't know where the pet fish came from, uh, but it's a pet fish and it's singing and Garfield looks amazed. Um, and it's saying, uh, Torre Ador on Garde, right? That, uh, Torre Ador, Torre Ador. Um, second panel, Garfield says, wow. And it's still singing that song, uh, which is from Carmen, by the way. Um, third panel, Garfield realizes a singing fish. This is a singing fish he's got on his hands. And, uh, the fish jumps into its next number, which is Moon River, um, which is another production, uh, you might remember, which was, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Moon River. Uh, good song, Audrey Hepburn. And uh, Garfield, in the next panel, says, I could make millions. Because you could. If you had a singing fish, you would exploit it. Um, I'm realizing now that this is a lot like uh, the singing frog. Uh, Michigan. Jimmy, Jimmy Michigan. D Do Dr. Michigan. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Uh, anyways, he's singing another song. He moves into his next number, The Fish. And it's uh, Let's Go to the Hop, Oh Baby. Which is um, an old kind of doo-wop rock song by uh, Danny and the Juniors. To the dance sensation that is the nation at the hop. Um, it's a good tune. You should check that one out. And so the fish realizes suddenly that Garfield is going to try and exploit his talents. And so the fish uh, jumps into his fourth number, which is Baby Shark. And you know how that song goes. Um... You know, baby shark, do do do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby, do, do, baby shark, and um, Garfield's expression changes instantly. And then in the last panel, Garfield is walking away with um, bloated cheeks, which are presumably filled with uh, the the dying fish that he's eating. And Garfield says, "But what would a cat do with money?" And that's the last panel. That's it. So he ate the fish because it was singing "Baby Shark." Um, what does that mean? Obviously, Jim Davis hates the Baby Shark song, right? Very, very on point for Jim Davis. Very poignant. Also, very, very um, just on time, right? I mean, people have been complaining about Baby Shark for years now, but with Jim Davis finally weighing in with his opinion on it, I feel like it's just validated so much. Uh, about the music industry and how music has changed and uh, really just capitalism in general and how things can be exploited and people can be exploited. For money. So, don't get exploited. Um, don't sell yourself short. Don't get baby shark, uh, baby shark stuck in your head. Like, try not to. 
and uh, have yourself a wonderful week. Uh, tell me what song you think is annoying down in the comments below if you made it this far. You know, thanks for watching. All that good stuff. Um, hopefully you couldn't see my nuts or anything down there. Um, but hey, if, if you could, I'll probably just blur it out. Or maybe I won't.